Before psychology became a science, it was mostly part of philosophy and ideas about the human body. A long time ago, Greek thinkers Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle wondered about how people think, learn, and act. And even before that, people around the world were kind of coming up with their own philosophy in terms of how people think and behave. Plato believed that people were born with some knowledge already in their minds. Aristotle, on the other hand, thought that people learn everything through experience and by watching the world around them. Later, during the 1600s and 1700s, more thinkers like René Descartes and John Locke added new ideas. Descartes believed that the mind and the body were two things that worked together. Locke said people are born with a blank slate and that all knowledge comes from experience. Now, of course, we do know that in the debate of nature and nurture, both equally play into who we are. Around the same time, scientists were learning about how the brain and nervous system worked. These ideas helped prepare the way for Wilhelm Wundt, who in 1879 did the first experiment to study the mind using science and the scientific method. This marked the beginning of psychology as its own field.